Hello and welcome to this AB Tutor video. Today I'm going to run through how to install and set up AB Cloud. AB Cloud consists of three components. The central server, which is maintained by us but manages all of your data, including groups, policies and client states. The console allows a user to see the client machines they are responsible for and to take control of them. The client runs invisibly on the computers being controlled, allowing them to appear in and follow commands sent by the console. The installers for the console and client are available from your account on abtutor.com. When you log in, you will see the information for your account followed by your licenses. Select the AB Cloud Instance entry followed by the Login button to open the AB Server interface for your site. Your username is admin and your password will have been emailed to you when you purchased AB Tutor. Enter these and select Login. Once you have logged in, your details will be remembered so you can return to the management page for your site simply by going to cloud.abtutor.com. We recommend that you next set up a user or users to allow you to open the console. Select the Users tab on the left menu to view a list of existing users, then click the Add button at the top of the screen. Give your user a username and enter their first and last names in the boxes on the left and choose what roles this user should have from the list on the right. A console user has access to open the console and a web administrator can log in to the website to create users and manage your client devices. Client users are for specific use cases and so you don't need to worry about those for now. If you select console user, you will see some additional console roles appear. As this is your first user, you will probably want them to be a full admin, so select console user, web administrator and console administrator. The extra roles allow you to fine-tune what your console users are allowed to do, but all of these roles are included in Console Administrator, so you don't need to add them now. Set a user password and then click Create User to save your changes. While you're in the Users section of the web interface, we recommend that you change the password of the admin user or delete them completely in case anybody else knows the password. Now we have a user, we can start installing clients and consoles. Select the dashboard link on the left menu then select Download the Console or Client. From this page, you can choose your operating system and, for Windows, choose which components will be installed by default. These installers are specific to your license, so if you manage multiple sites, make sure you keep them separate. In this video, I will be running the installers manually, however the MSI files can also be pushed out with Active Directory or other deployment tools. Choose the appropriate installer, download and run it. When the MSI starts, Windows may warn you that it is unrecognised. This is because it has been modified with the specific details for your site. Select More Info and then Run Anyway. The installer will start, run through the wizard as normal. Note it will ask which components you wish to install. The defaults will be set as appropriate for the MSI you downloaded, however you can change it at this point if you wish. When deployed automatically, it will just go with the defaults. You should just be able to use the system proxy settings, however they can be customised here if necessary. The installer will automatically download the required components from the AB Tutor servers and install them. Once complete, click finish and the install is done. If you have installed a client, you will now need to accept it on the server. This is to ensure that no unauthorised client can get access to your system. In the web interface, select the Devices item on the left and ensure that the Requests tab is selected. This will show up a list of any computers which have been installed but not approved. Click Accept next to a device to approve it or Accept All at the top if you check that you are happy to accept the full list. This will move the devices from the requests list to the authenticated list. Once approved, it takes a few minutes for a client to update but soon it will be ready to appear in the console. If you have installed a console, you will see an icon for it on the desktop. Double click this icon to start the console and log in with the user we created earlier. You can now start creating groups, either by right-clicking on the shared groups in the groups list or by dragging computers onto it. Having computers in groups allows non-admins to see them and allows you to choose which users can interact with them. For more information on groups and using AB Tutor in general, please see all the other videos on this channel or the built-in help system. There is a lot more to the software, but this should be enough to get you going. If you have any questions, please email us at support.abtutor.com and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.